Hey everybody, it's Callum and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch. I'm going to preface last episode, uh, I'm going to preface this episode by saying that last episode, uh, there was no audio for you guys. I'll probably have edited some in post, but yeah, there was no audio for you guys. You guys couldn't hear real time what I was doing, uh, which is kind of annoying. Turns out, if you plug your headphones into the Switch and record, it doesn't pick up the audio. So, that's grand. I'm now having to listen to the audio delayed because I'm listening to it through the Elgato uh, application on my PC, which is not fun. Easy procedure to get rid of these guys. Hold your shield up, and they fall over like no one's business. Can you get that? Uh, no. We might have to... Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Can we do anything with this? No? Okay. That was very unfortunate. What's in this chest? Compass! Nice. So we can actually uh, use this to see how big Angler's Tunnel actually is. It's quite big, and I can't wait to explore all of it. So yeah, if I'm ever delayed to a sound, you'll know why. It's because uh, Elgato sound is a bit delayed. Because obviously it has to take time to process through the capture card and yeah. But it is, for the most part, real-time audio. <laughs> and at least I won't have to edit in music and post. So that's always fun. Uh, right there we got a key, which we're going to use here. And that brings us here. And we need another key. Interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna be a little bit delayed to whether like a rupee drops or a key drops or an item drops or anything like that. Bear with <laughs> is all I'm gonna say to that. Um, it's over this way. Uh, is this a key? It is not. It is the stone beak which we can use to get a hint if we need it. Okay, nothing this way. I've probably talked in depth uh, in the past, all the map, uh, about, um, you know, things, things I like about this game. The fact that I can just do anything with just button presses and I don't need uh, rock as many cracks. I don't need to, like, use, um, eh, I don't need to use the X and Z buttons for everything. Like, I've got a dedicated shield button, dedicated Pegasus boot button, it's great. Probably one of my favorite additions to all of this. Uh, we'll probably have to wait for it to land before we can hit it with anything, and I know that I should probably be hitting this with that. Yeah, fairy. Hell yeah. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but those things that I sprayed with a little bit of magic dust, they are actually called anti-fairies. Cool, guardian acorn. Uh, I don't believe I need to beat everything in here uh, for anything. But, just in case... No. Okay. On to the next room. Uh, I should actually get my magic powder back up. Oh, two for the price of one. We love it. Alright. Put that there. And we get... Another key! A two now? That is two. Damn. My jump fell a little too short. 
but that's fine. Let's go on to the next room, or at least back a couple of rooms. That <laughs> stupid chew. Alright. And if we head back down here, I believe we have to go around. And it's actually quite nice that I've already gotten so used to using uh, the game again. I thought I was going to be, like, I was worried that after a year of not playing, I was going to be super rusty and it would make the videos unwatchable nearly, but no, it's actually not going too badly. I'm messing up a couple times, sure, but for the most part, I think it's all right. And I missed. And I walked into <laughs> Okay, we are going to have to come back for that. Really? I can. Ow! He can hit me through that, but I can't hit him. That is bogus. There we go. There we go. And let's go this way. Okay. He dropped in a lower level, and there was a water splash, so that indicative as to what is to come, potentially? Potentially, maybe, question mark? Uh, down this way, there's the owl statue. So, if we do indeed need a hint, we can get it, but for the sake of it. The glint of the tile will be your guide. Interesting. I'm not too familiar as to what that's referring to, uh, but I'm sure we'll find out in due time. Move that to land. Kill the little pea hat. I assume they're pea hats. They at least remind me of pea hats from uh, other Legend of Zelda games. Can I get one? Yes, I can get one before it starts flying around. Those Stalthos are basically like the Moblins from the Overworld. Super easy to beat, just have to deflect everything with your shield, get in on them, and do, you, do your business. Okay, we can't do anything in here yet. So let us press forward. Okay, uh, we're going to need to be able to swim to get in here properly. Which I'm sure we'll... What the frick? Okay. I pressed open on it like five bajillion times. But apparently not. I believe that is an escape from the other side. So I'm going to have to go around. And I'm taking way too much damage to <laughs> to really, like, uh, consider... What? What? I, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm taking too much damage, is what I wanted to say. Alright. I wonder. We can make that. Interesting. Maybe this. No. Alright, there we go. Uh, let's press minus, because we can do that. I forgot. Uh, we can go down here. Or we can press forward. I think pressing forward might be the good... Uh, the good. The, the better idea. Aha! Mini boss. Sir, I do not remember your name, but I remember that you are a pain in the backside. Which, funnily enough, is exactly how we intend to fight you. By being a pain in your backside. 
See what I did there? Yeah, this fight's just a little annoying because you have to use your Pegasus boots to catch up to him and it's it's just it's all over the place. Ow. Or you can cheese it like that by using some damage. Crud. He tries to juke you out. You can also use bombs strategically like that. I messed up. There we go. And I believe it's just one more hit. There we go. When you don't know, that guy can be a bit of a pain in the butt. But we knew. We knew how to fight him. And therefore we succeeded. This room's pretty easy. Actually, I think... If I remember correctly... No? Could have sworn there was a secret to do with this room and these blocks, but apparently not. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pull until we can pull no more. How? And then we made it. <laughs> That's really all there is to it. And then we finally get the flippers. Dive underwater with B and press A to swim quickly. No need to equip them. They are automatically equipped and they are considered an accessory slot and not the... There we go. And not uh, an equipable item. Follow the glimmer. This is probably what that owl was referring to. So, it's an awkward... Z with a bump in the middle. I can remember that. And I say remember that because that's going to be useful in another um, in another room, I'm pretty sure. I think actually it's this way where that is useful. Yes! So, if you remember, it is a Z with a little bump in it. Boom. And that gives us... a stairway. Okay. Where does the stairway lead? Ooh, side-scrolling section. Frickin' dick. What? I... Okay. The hitboxes on those things are a bit, uh, a bit scuffed. How did I get hit by that? Whatever. Whatever. We move. And up here is the big key. Or the nightmare key. Sorry. This thing has many different names in many different Zelda games. Forgive me for getting it wrong one time. Actually, that's pro- <laughs> Now that I think about it, that is probably not the first time I have ever gotten that wrong. And nor, uh, nor will it be the last. Okay, so from here, uh, it's probably within our best bet to go this way and get the chest down here. And I just realized we can now swim, which means we can dodge these guys. We can also go this way. Get the hearts. Uh, we can't go through that. We need another key in order to do that, and I have no doubt in my mind that we're going to get that key from this chest. Ow. Nope, that's just a rupee. Okay. Bizarre. Uh, let's check the map again. There's a chest over this side which requires us to swim. And that's the only other chest on this top floor. So I'm gonna head that way. I think. I need to go this way first. Oh no, the... Oh. The beetle drowned. He was gonna die anyway, but... Let's be real. 
It wasn't gonna be by drowning. Whoop! I didn't realize there was a hole there. Oh, come on, I made that. There we go. And... Go. Smokey? No. Another purple rupee. Hmm. Give me that fairy, give me that fairy, give me that fairy. Yeah. Alright, let's look at the map again. Nothing. It is just that lower ground that we can get to. Which doesn't have a different Okay. It doesn't have a different um, floor level on the map. Oh, actually, I know why. It's because you can't really represent these 2D areas very well with what the game has right now. There's the small key. I knew we were missing one of them. Oh, crud. If you were wondering, yes, you can use your Pegasus boot jump while un in these underground segments. Uh, you just have to time it right, which I'm not doing. There we go. Now we head this way. Kill these chews. Play these guys which I don't actually know their name. It's something like Skipper or whatever. Something related to Pond Skippers. Then we go down here, kill these Cheeps, which yes, they are actually called Cheeps in this game. Uh, they are the exact same enemy as they are in Mario, which just brings in a whole lot of questions about the different universes. <laughs> Ed Webber, all Nintendo games take place in the same universe or not? But enough of that malarkey. We've made it to the boss door, and in pretty reasonable time, actually. Like, I thought this would take us a lot longer to do, but no. We made it. The only way to go is down. And yeah. This is an underwater fight. Let's do this. Bloop, bloop, clap, clap. Uh, food, bloop, clap. The anglerfish. How common sounding. Like, really? They couldn't have come up with, like, some fantastical name for it? I mean, I guess it is Capcom that originally made this, and this game's, like, as true to form as it can be. Okay. All you gotta do is hit the little, uh, angler, like, on its head, and it's that easy. This is probably one of the easiest bosses in the game. For our efforts, we get a heart container. Our tenth heart, completing our first row of hearts. Look at that. Alright, let's swim up. And claim our reward. You got the Surf Harp. Bay. Your road goes into the bay. And there we go. We don't actually need to use this, I just realized. I just realized that we can swim now. 
And because of that, the first location I'm going to want to go is just right here. Right next to the Angler Tunnels. And it's to this guy. And we're going to pull out our Ocarina and just play him a little ditty. Actually, we're going to talk to him first. I am Mambo, child of the sunfish. You have got an ocarina? Yes. <laughs> then I can teach you my song. You've learned Manbo's Mambo, the funkiest song in this game, and when you get out of order, you should play it. When you play my Mambo, you can warp to a warp point around the island. Try this tune in dungeons too. And since today's a special day, I'll let you warp to Manbo's Pond too. Cha cha cha! Yeah, this is actually one of, if not the most useful ocarina song in this game. It, it just allows us to fast travel so seamlessly across the map, and it's super helpful. Next, though, we are going to want to go this way, and I believe behind one of these waterfalls... No? Okay. I thought behind one of those waterfalls was a secret, but no. Instead, we have a cave over here. And in the water, a piece of heart. Not too shabby. Uh, from here, it seems that we can actually go down this way to get back up onto land. Which is good. Very useful. Uh, I don't believe there's anything over this way in terms of being in the water. Uh, but I don't want to go and check. Not yet, anyway. Instead... Okay. Instead, I actually want to look around and see what else we can do now that we can swim. I know there are a lot of different places we can go now that we can swim. But it's just a case of finding those areas, you know? Alright, well, why don't we give, uh, not Marin's song. That was the wrong song. Why don't we give Manbo's Mambo a pretty funky, uh, lay down, what, words. Anyway, we can travel to Tal Tal Heights, we can travel to Dampe Shack, Mambo's Pond, Uku Uku Prairie, Martha's Bay, and the Animal Village. Uh, Manbo's Pond. I thought for some reason he meant here, but no, he actually meant over here. Which is a location that I do not believe we've been able to get to before. Or, oh no, no we have, we have. I'm just, I'm just an idiot. Why do we have this ghost following us again? I, I can't remember. For the life of me, just can't remember. Alright. Uh, I'm probably going to want to play Mambo's Mambo. Uh, Mambo's Mambo again. And just go a little bit lower, more towards some water. Just so I can properly show uh, the new areas we can get to. Or at least some of them, hopefully. I think it's this way. I don't remember why we have this ghost following us. Uh, because I don't remember picking her up. 
but I do know what her quest entails. So yeah. Under this bush is a secret seashell. And if we just switch out to the shovel, if I remember correctly, really? There's nothing. House of the Bay. Oh! You lead us to our next destination. I forgot about that. House of the Bay. Let's see. Oh, she must be on about this house. Okay, we can take her there. Uh, we can actually, I think, take her there from where we are. Right? Maybe. Well, we'll see. Uh, so this is the slime cave. We've been here before. Let's head down this way. Uh, then this way again. Oh, that, that is not a secret. That is just a hole. The house take me. Yeah, okay. Okay, lady. We're taking you. Don't worry. I believe we can go this way for it. Power. And I th think, yeah, we can actually swim down there, and that should bring us closer to the- wait, I just double checking. That should bring us closer to getting there, to the house at the bay that this ghost lady wants us to go to. Lady, we're on it. Just chill. Chill your ghost beans. See what's in this cave first. There we go. Guardian acorn. Kill that thing. I don't think there's anything useful in here. Let's just press on. And get to the house at the bay. And also, when were we able to get here? Maybe we've always... Uh, no, no, ignore me. We've always been able to get here. I'm just a raging idiot. Here, enter my house. Nostalgia unchanged. Cemetery, take me to my grave. Now, I'm not sure what grave we need to go to specifically. Uh, but let's just lay down a funky ditty. <laughs> and make our way to... Would Manbo's Pond be... Yeah, Manbo's Pond. That's a good place to go. Yeah. 
guess from there, we can go to the wasteland, which in turn can lead us to the cemetery if we head down. Yeah, here we go. And again, I do not know which grave is hers. I'm just pausing the video right here just to say that I do not know why I was under this preconceived notion that this was a girl. I, for the longest time, believed that this was Martha, purely because the house was on Martha's Bay, and upon a little bit of research, it turns out that Martha was the original name of a mermaid character that we see later on. Uh, this is actually a genderless ghost, uh, there's no conf uh, confirmation as to whether it's a female ghost or a male ghost. I, I think my brain just kind of went pink, girl, <laughs> and I do, I do deeply apologize for that. I know a lot of people do care about, um, you know, this kind of stuff and whether or not I get information correct or not. Even if you don't, I personally care that I may have gotten information wrong and I'm here to just kind of uh, set that... Uh, Whatever. I, I know what I'm trying to say. This goes as genderless, and yeah, that's about it. But I assume it's not one of the common ones. Ow! What the hell? Zombie. Um. Actually, no. Where is her. Oh, that's her grave. Right? Has to be. Okay, these freaking zombie guys. Ruining my day. Yeah, that that has to be her grave. Yeah, my grave, team of the grave with the flowers. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. A jar. A jar for you. Put something inside. Bye bye. And we got a new jar. Or fairy bottle. Oh, it has been some time since our paths crossed, lad. Really? It's been like an hour. You must dive into the waters of Martha's Bay to enter Catfish's Maw. The closer you get to the windfish, the more restless he sleeps. Carry onward! Ooh. Alrighty. So we have a fairy bottle. I thought we already had one of these, but no, we don't. Now, anytime we see a fairy, we can just swing our bottle at it and it will be an instant revive when we die. I'm now going to play Mambo's Mambo to head to Martha's Bay. Yep, there we go. Where next? Uh, where we will leave off this episode for the next one, in which we will be making our way uh, to getting into Catfish's Mall, the next location on our journey. But before that. Secrecy shell. <laughs> I knew there was one here. Okay. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, we're going to be venturing forth and hopefully getting access to Catfish's Moor. See you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>